first year, we covered a lot of things, starting with the basics, doing the basic facials, manicures, pedicures, waxing, um, basic Swedish massage, aromatherapy as well. The majority of us did our SIPTEC exam at the end of first year, and that was the British exam, and that got us internationally recognised for aesthetics, and the lecturers really helped us throughout that whole year. They pushed us to our limits, and we came out being the best that we could be. And repeat that times two. Good. And keep your posture straight. So we do a lot of prep, but it's more theory, the theory side. Apparently next mm -hmm. year is all about the prep. Right. Yeah. And um, we've just recently started working in the salon to get to experience working with different people. And we go into the anatomy and physiology of the human body. We work on each other. Um, once a week we swap over. So for the first week, one will be the therapist and the next week um, other students will be the clients. So we get to perform the uh, treatments and experience it for ourselves. In the second year we cover um, a lot of things like reflexology, aromatherapy, uh, microdermabrasion, permanent makeup, hot stone, Swedish massage as well as body treatments like Audiosonic. Second year was like the worst, well the, the <laughs> nicest, but it was just so full of um, um, case studies and um, work experience. It was like really hectic, but that is the year where we got to know each other better. We got a dentist on the facility and I stayed on the dentist for the first and second year. And um, it's a very nice experience, it's very homey, it doesn't feel like a hostel or anything. The most rewarding feeling, not just for me, but I also know for the other six staff members is at the end of our the second year or third year is to reflect back on the individuals and you are a witness of this amazing metamorphosis that took place in the individuals. You, you find what you're most passionate about in third year and you really work on that and your weaknesses as well, you, you start to strengthen them a lot more and um, you just, you're a lot more unique and personal with what you're doing. You put your personal touches on a lot of the treatments that you've learnt and you've mastered in first and second year. After this, uh, it allows you to do more than just open your own place. We can do teaching as we do a lecturing, lecture training course as well. We do a Reiki, image consultancy, lash extensions, spa cuisine and language of the feet and crystal healing and cosmetic proficiency. So we have a wide variety of treatments that um, we are allowed to qualify in. Um, it just opens some more doors for you as well. In um, our first year in 1997, we gained our first British accreditation called SIPTAC stands for the Confederation of International Beauty Therapists and we began to offer the Sodesco Diploma. Sodesco is the Swiss exam, um, it's the most prestigious exam in the world. Last year we launched our Sodesco Spy exam. The Spy exam was only designed four years ago. We're the third school in South Africa to be offering the Spy exam. And this year we are launching our Sport Diploma exam and our Fashion and um, Ramp Makeup Diploma. We're the only one offering international sport massage and international media makeup. We do have our own personal agency that helps place the students once they are qualified. And at current we're placing them as far afield as Australia, the United Kingdom, Ireland, we're looking at America has just accepted Sodesco, so some of our girls are moving to America. We have girls working on the Steiner Cruise Liners, um, Harding Brother Cruise Liners. We have um, girls working in Brookdale Health Hydro. They sponsor some of our third year's training, and the third year's go and work at Brookdale for a two year period. We also do business management, where the students are allowed to manage the second years in the salon environment.